Hello there, in this video we're going to talk about how to use the Untangle Internet Content Control Solution to enforce different policies for a teacher and students even though they may be in the same classroom. Now as you already know, the Internet Content Control or IC Control Solution gives you granular visibility and control of the users and the content on your network, which of course helps your users, in this case the teacher, do their job more effectively and the students do their job more effectively, both being more productive. It also gets you the ability to optimize the speed speed and reliability of your internet connection. Now in this middle tab here on the left hand side, we see that our first option on the policy side is group. Now when you create a group inside the IC control appliance, you have two different options. The first option is just to connect to your directory server so that if you already have teachers in their own directory group and students in their own directory group, you can automatically use those existing administrative policies so that when they authenticate to your network, they're just placed in their separate groups. And then you match policies to those groups, therefore the students and the teachers can have a unique internet experience. Using the IC control group, you get a whole bunch of different options. Basically, any way that you have your network logically or physically segmented. For example, if I were to go add members into our teachers group here, I could do it based on IP address, I could do it based on CIDR block, I could do it based on VLAN. It gives you a, a tremendous amount of options in how you want to build the members of that group. Since we already have our groups built, and since we're already using our directory integration for those, we'll jump ahead. Now as I continue down my policies and rules submenu, uh, we have our time of day, which means I can enforce policy based on time of day or day of the week. Uh, and then we get to our block page. Now the cool thing about the block page manager is that I can create a different block page for both the teachers and for the students. That might be very helpful if you have a teacher who's studying how to do some lesson preparation, they come across a URL they'd like to use in the lesson, it happens to be blocked for whatever reason, I can give them a unique email address on their block page uh, to request access to that particular URL. I can also explain uh, the different internet usage policies or whatever I want in the HTML that's included in that block page. Now the next stop on our list here is the Internet Usage Rule Manager. Now the Internet Usage Rules is where we're going to uh, block individual URLs or groups of URLs to really enforce our SEPA compliant policy. You can see here for the high school students that I've got application control turned on, I've got the web filter turned on, I have the IC control anonymous proxy guard turned on which allows me to have an incredibly fine degree control over any type of filter avoidance applications or tools that are out there and I've also got the full HTTPS filtering in place. It's very standard, we don't need to spend a lot of time here but this is where you're going to block or add categories, this is where you're going to add whitelist types of things. We even block individual file types so in this case we don't have students downloading mp3s or other types of files that might come across. Now that's a very different policy than we have for our teachers. Now in the teachers we have much less categories uh, much fewer, excuse me, categories that we are going to block for the teachers. Uh, I haven't turned on HTTPS filtering, though that's very easy to do if I wanted to come in here and just turn on HTTPS filtering. I can do that with any one of these uh, preset options. But the good uh, thing here is that I can go into this advanced filtering. So in here I can enable bypass, so if I want to allow the teachers to bypass an individual URL or bypass the entire filter, I have a password set up that allows them to go ahead and to do that. Um, as we move past just the sort of block and allow type functionality of the IC control solution, we really get into one of the things that makes us really different, which is the shaping policies. Now I've got a shaping policy set up for teachers and a shaping policy set up for students, and they're different because they have different jobs or different responsibilities, if you will, uh, on the network. So for the students, in order to keep them from accessing uh, the applications that could be bandwidth intensive, I've got streaming media shaped down to half of our uh, uh, bandwidth availability. It's a low priority. I've got peer-to-peer -peer shut off so they can't use peer-to-peer -peer applications. I've got things like gaming applications which may be distracting, uh, shaped really down so they don't have access to a lot of bandwidth and it's a very low priority. But in addition to that, I can also speed some things up. So we all know that online testing can be a very intense time around the school. So in this case, I took our online testing, which is our, our URL that all our students use to go test. I've given that access to the full bandwidth and I've made that the highest possible priority. But on my teachers, I have something very different because they have a different role. So I can come in here, I give them access to our full internet circuit, just like we did with the students. But on those applications, I'm not really shaping down any applications for them. But in order to make things go fast, I take the the website that they use to manage their student attendance and do grades and communicate with the teachers, uh, really that student information portal system there, and I've got that set up so that that's a high priority for the teachers so that they can get done what they need to get done and the students can get done what they need to get done by having the appropriate priorities placed on those URLs. 
And then once I'm all finished, I come down here to my policy manager and I just marry up the little groups that we've created. So I've got my high school student group. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take the internet usage rule that we created for the high school students and attach that, the shaping rule to the high school students, and I hit the save button and away we go. I do the same thing for the teachers and that is how you create unique policies for the students and the teachers even if they happen to be in the same classroom.